What's up you guys? So it's your girl April and this video is being sponsored by V Show Hair. This is the first time that I've ever worked with them and they did send me their 22 inch virgin Brazilian water wave hair. Yeah, it's water wave, yes. Water wave hair and it's the lace front. There's combs in the unit. I did sew an elastic band and I did bleach the knots and I used the purple shampoo. So right now I'm using my wig extensions lace tint spray. The color that I'm using is in the color, um, Oh man, I don't even know. I think I'm using the golden color because I'm not using the mocha, which is too dark for me. So it's either the golden or the beige that I'm using. I'll definitely post below, but more likely it's probably the the golden because of the color it came out. So anyway, I like this product a lot because it does tint your wig, your lace, you know what I mean? Um, you can either let it air dry or you can blow dry it. Um, you can either put it on the lace when it's wet, you know, like after you finish washing the hair or you could just do it after you finish styling it. So you wanna make sure that you, you know, get the entire cap. You may need to use three to eight pumps depending on the color and you also can build the color. So they did send me three colors and I like the product a lot. So as far as the wig, this is the first time that I've ever worked with them. And girl, no, the wig did not come this color, hunties, okay? Let me tell y'all, all right? I have a lot of curly and loose wave wigs that I have to review. And I actually have another wig by V Show Hair that another one of their representatives sent me and I didn't want them to look the same. Even though the lengths are different, their curl pattern I think is the same. So I decided to use the Dark and Lovely Honey Colored Box Dye, which I think I used like two or three boxes so anyway I did bleach you know like I said I did use the purple shampoo and I did pre pluck the hairline I added an elastic band the hair bleached really nicely and it also colored very well also so now as you guys see I'm just you know cutting away the lace on this unit because you know it's time to style it so meanwhile in between that I forget to mention you guys that this hair this wig you guys is actually from Amazon this is a Amazon vendor as before I I love Amazon you know Amazon Prime when you get your shit on time girl I love Amazon I haven't been on there in a couple of weeks but they have some really great deals so this is an Amazon wig you guys and you know Amazon has a great return policy so if you definitely want to get a unit that's quick you know affordable and has a good return policy then you'll definitely want to check out Amazon but you can also check out V show here so I'm just cutting the wig just to make sure that if it's properly cutting all the lace off of it applying my got to be glam force hairspray to adhere the wig I did sleep with this wig on for like two days but then I started getting really hot okay and I couldn't take it no more so I had to take it off now if you don't have a blow dryer to do this part right here you can definitely just allow the hairspray to air dry because it does dry quickly but you want to keep in mind not to uh, hairspray too much without um, a blow dryer so just you know spritz in sections and press into the lace and then allow it to dry and then just move on to the next section and spritz the hair quality is great like I said it is a nice wig the um, actual um, dye came out good the hair didn't get hard it didn't dry the hair out it didn't break the hair out I did not notice any shedding while I was wearing the wig for the three days after I did this video now this part right here you see I'm just going to remove that excess lace like I tell you guys some of the wigs do fit a little bit bigger they may fall over your ear tabs or your ears so you want to make sure that you know you have the wig laying flat and flush to your head so if you need to cut off in a little bit or extra piece of the lace wig then just make sure that you part above your ears and take off that excess lace that way the wig will look a lot more natural and it will also fit comfortably but yeah the wig dyed really nice I like the way it came out the bleached easy I think I left it on for like 45 minutes I left the hair dye on for like two hours and you know I just sat it in a bag and just let it process um this is a 22 inch and i think the density of this unit is uh i do believe it's 180 but if i'm incorrect i'll definitely post all of the information in the specs below for you guys you don't have to have a prime account with amazon to purchase this unit but you will need to have an amazon account of course but you know with prime you know you get your stuff really quick and i do like that but yeah like i was saying these show hair 100 virgin human hair okay and um 
I don't really know what else to say, you guys, but I like the wig. It came out really cute. It's easy to style, you know. Some people don't like to glue it down, but I'm going to just glue it down for this portion of the video. And I do say this. As you see me pressing down on the sides, make sure that you always get by the ears because sometimes we leave that spot out. And now just to trim away the baby hairs or the wispy hairs, you know, I don't really like them too long. But the one good thing about curly wigs is... The wispy hairs can be kind of like wild, you know, because it's curly hair. And I love curly hair. Like, I absolutely love, love, love curly hair. They don't know about us, babe. They don't know about us. They can think what they want, baby, but they don't know a thing. Even if they did have a glimpse of our truth, they wouldn't know about us, no. This part I always make is my sideburns just because I don't want to go without. So always make sure to have some sideburns. And in this spray bottle is some water with some Carol's Daughter Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm also going to be using the Got To Be Fantastic Styling Mousse, which I absolutely love a lot. I like this stuff. If you're going for like a wet hairstyle, this stuff works really great. And as you guys see, I did grow my fingernails out over the past couple of months while I was gone. And then they all broke. Yeah. Now, just to slick down or hold down my sideburns, I'm going to use the Got To Be Gel Glam Force Gel. Um, this is also a great product, but I really, if I had to choose between the hairspray or the gel, I would definitely choose the hairspray. Just because the hairspray, you can just do multiple things with as well as the gel. And I'm just going to sculpt me some baby hairs and stuff, you know. As the parting space, I'm showing you the parting space. We have a nice, decent amount of parting space in this unit. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. And I'm just going to make my part a little bit more prominent by just placing some of the hair, um, some of the hair mousse in between the part. And I'm just going to take my blow dryer nozzle and just press down into it so that way you can see the part a little bit better. And as for the box dye, like I said, I think I used like uh, three boxes of the Dark and Lovely box dye. It's really cheap. Um, it was the Golden Honey. And I more or less left the dark roots of it. You know, I didn't color the entire roots of the unit. I love this color brown because you can wear it any season. But I do like to keep some of the hair dark in the root area of all the wigs that I dye because it just looks more natural. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check all the information below down below for V Show hair. This color is Kayu girl. Definitely pull this up in a ponytail or a bun if you want to. Even if it's a lace front, you can still do amazing things with it, and the quality is good. If I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I so i love you guys i'll definitely have another v show hair wig review coming up soon bye